Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today is a bit of a surprise video. Um, every now and again I have ideas for videos and I'll go on Amazon and buy some things and try, try them out. And every now and again I forget to write on the package what it is when it arrives and it can sit sometimes for months, in this case one of them has been sitting for three months and I forget what's in them. So I now have four items um, and I can't remember what they are. So I thought today I would uh, start working on them. So you will know what is in the package um, because I will have it up in the title but at this moment in time I have no idea what I am going to open. So we can have a look at package number one. So these are the packages <coughs> or envelopes um, that I have sitting around and I can't remember what is inside them. So today I'm going to pick one and hopefully I'll remember why I ordered it and uh, we'll do a little unboxing, unpacking and uh, talk about what it was that triggered me to buy it, hopefully. So I think uh, since this is the first one, I think we'll go for the biggest package, even although I don't think it is anything that big. But these are Amazon and they do like to send things in very big packages. So um, we'll see. We'll go with this one, I think. <clears throat> As I said, I honestly have no idea what's inside it. Um, I'm just hoping that I remember why I ordered it when I do open it. So just standard M3 Amazon packaging. I don't think it's a diamond painting, but it could be. It is, it is a diamond painting I forgot I ordered. That was a surprise, I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay, so as I said, ordered from Amazon. So as you can tell, it is a budget kit. Um, no box, comes uh, sort of semi-rolled, semi-folded. I still can't, ah, I remember what it is now, uh, when I saw the thumbnail. Um, had totally forgotten about this one. Um, this one was purely something that popped up and I just liked it. So, um, as I said, just basic, no box. We have the key, so we have 24 colours in this one and a tiny little thumbnail. So I don't know if you can make that out, but um, this is actually a bigger diamond painting than it looks, and um, it does look very small. So we'll open it up, and you can see there the size, give the game away. It's 30 centimetres by 80. Again, I, I would call this 80 by 30. Um, it is 80 wide and 30 high. So it's a very narrow but very long diamond painting. So we'll open it up, just a, a normal plastic bag, nothing uh, special about it. <coughs> so no real protection for this, just the cardboard box that it came in, or sleeve. Um, as usual, I'll look inside and see what we get drill-wise, if I can uh, get them out with it pulling it all apart. Yep. There we go. So put this to the side and as usual we'll go for the toolkit, see what we get. So standard basic toolkit, slight differences though. Um, <clears throat> got something in here that I haven't had for a long time. Uh, we'll start off with the pen, we actually get two. 
I'm not sure why, but two diamond painting pens, clear plastic with little pieces of glitter in it, and this one has a large multi-placer on it. So for people who are new to diamond painting, normally um, with the budget kits you would get a pen and you put pink wax into the tip of the pen and you use that to pick up your drills and place them on the canvas. This one came with two pens, <clears throat> has a multi-placer, so if you have uh, areas, large areas of the same colour, instead of putting your drills in one at a time, you can fill this channel up with pink wax and do, this is quite a lot, um, I'm going to guess some like an 8 or 9 placer, or 8 or 10 placer, something like that. So you can get a row of drills in your tray and pick them all up at the same time and place them all at the same time. That is the theory. Um, it does take practice, I've heard, because I never ever use them. Um, I prefer to single place. But that is what these are for. Again, that's for people who are new, thinking about diamond painting, maybe got a kit and thought, what is this thing? Um, it's to place multiple drills at one time. It just pulls out, so the pens are exactly the same. Two plastic straws. One is longer than the other, doesn't mean anything. Um, the multiplacer just pushes in the end, doesn't matter which pen, it's the same. So, two pens, one large multiplacer. And you can see this is the thing that was a bit different. It's a long time since I've had one of these in a kit standard. This looks like it's a multiplacer, but it's actually a straightener. It's a uh, a very fine edge, it doesn't have a channel in it to put your pink wax in. Again, you push it into the end of your pen. And what you can use this for is if you are diamond painting and you notice your drills are getting a little bit wavy, you can use this straight edge to push the drills uh, in line, keep them nice and straight. So it can come in very handy just to tidy things up if you feel that things are just getting a bit too wavery. Um, so nice to see that. Um, it is pretty unusual to get them in the kits, so that was a surprise. So straightener, pretty cool. Then we get <coughs> pink squidgy. This goes over the pen. Sometimes it can take a bit of uh, fiddling about. I'm not going to waste time, but it can they can be tight in this one is, um, and the, but the idea is that you work up over the pen. I don't know if it's different from the other side. No, it's tight. Anyway, you work it up over the pen till it's about here, and it means that when you're using the pen, you have this cushioning, um, makes it a bit more comfortable to hold, makes it slightly thicker as well, which can also make it more comfortable. So that is what the squidgies are for. You don't always get them in kits, so nice little extra. This one is very tight, I don't know if it's just that pen. It's just the same. So that is going to take a lot of work. Usually they're not as bad as that, but persevere and you will get it on. The good thing about them being really tight, it means when they're on, they won't tend to slide off. So pink squidgy. Then we have the sort of standard green diamond painting tray. Um, it doesn't have a nozzle, um, which means when you, if you're trying to pour drills back into containers, um, they can sort of uh, miss the spot and uh, you spill them as you're trying to tip them back in. Um, you also get trays that have got a little spout that makes it a lot easier to pour drills back. This is the absolute basic tray the green tray with no, no spout on it. Um, the other thing is it has the angled sides. I always talk about it because it is definitely something worth knowing about if you're new to diamond painting before you actually find out the hard way. If you um, put drills in your tray and you're diamond painting and you accidentally tap the side, it will flip over um, very, very easily and your drills will end up on the canvas, probably stuck on the glue, or maybe they end up on the floor. Then you have to pick all the drills back off again. Very, very annoying. So that's why I always mention it. In case people are, this is the first uh, diamond painting video they've seen, 
Um, if you've got a tray and it has angled sides, try not to touch the edge with your hand. Um, it will save you a lot of time and effort in picking up the drills. So, absolutely standard green tray. We get a rectangle of uh, pink wax and that's pretty much it. As I said, the pink wax is used to pick up the drills. So what you do is, um, the wax has a clear coating on it, it's plastic. That's to keep it clean and stop it drying out. So the first thing you have to do is peel back the plastic a bit, put your finger behind the wax, get your pen and push down into the wax against your finger, spin it, take it out and you can see a little hole. That means that the pink wax is now in the pen and this is what picks up the drill. You pour some drills into your tray, you just touch the drill with the pen, it will stick to it, move over and put it where it should go on your canvas. The glue on the canvas is stickier than the pink wax so the drill will stick. You just need to touch the drill and just touch the canvas. If you press you tend to squish the pink wax out around the drill and it can get kind of messy and you have to start trying to pick the wax out between your drills. Being very light handed um, helps a lot, stops you getting all this uh, excess pink wax going on your diamond painting and um, you can diamond paint longer before you have to um, top up the wax if you touch very lightly. Um, so again, another little hint if anybody is new. So final thing, we get some bags. Um, I don't think I've found a company yet that gives you enough bags for every colour. So we've got 24 colours in this one. We'll see how many bags we get. One, two, three, four, five. So these bags can be handy when you've got spare drills left at the end. You can put the drills in here, write a little label, put the DMC code on it and then you've got spare drills for a future project. If you happen to run out of a colour, you might have some spares and you can use them. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, we've got 24 colours, so we probably will have extras in every colour. Um, and we've only got five bags. So it doesn't really work, but it's nothing new. Um, I don't think I've had a diamond painting yet that you get enough bags for every colour in the diamond painting. But if you have a few diamond paintings and keep all your little bags, you will have enough. So that is it. That is the basic kit. Um, the straightener was a surprise. Sometimes you get these squidgies, but the absolute basic kit, you would get one pen and the tray and the pink wax, and that would be it. The multiplacers are a sort of extra. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Straightener, again another extra, but not very often that you get them. So they can come in very handy, as I said, if you find that your drills are just a bit going a bit squint. You can use this to help straighten things up. So it, it can be a very handy thing. <coughs> so that is the kit, basic kit. I'm surprised I totally forgot about this diamond painting. I suppose that's what happens when you have so many. Um, now we have a look at the drills, so they come in with a sort of standard bag, it has a glue strip up the side so you don't open it at the end, just try and hurry this up because it's always the noisiest part, so just open it up, pull the drill, drills out <coughs> and you can have a look, so 24 colours, let's see if we can get to the beginning, so not resealable bags but a good size, good size of bag. You can work from these pretty easily. Um, separate them. There are perforations between but I wouldn't recommend trying to tear them. If it goes wrong it's going to tear through the bag. If you use scissors and cut along the perforations then you can cut the top straight off, cut straight across and then pour drills into your tray, use what you need 
pour them back in the bag, fold the bag over, use a little piece of tape and seal it. Um, so good size bags, not resealable, resealable would be the best solution but not too bad. Um, so we have, I'm trying to think number one, some bits and pieces this one. Okay, so we have a, a reference number here, um, WX1590, which is just their reference number for this diamond painting kit. Doesn't mean anything to us. What we're looking at is the 01. So 01 is number one on the kit. And then they're in numerical order, so it's pretty easy. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. This should be one that starts six. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. So when you get a lot of one colour, um, you will get an extra bag. And if it's a lot of one colour, you may get three or four of these bags, all the same colour. So that's why we get nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, uh, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24, and that's it. So 24 colours, we have all the colours. Now we just have a quick look at the actual drills. So these are round, you can see little circles. And um, what I'm looking at when I do this is I'm looking to see that the drills move freely in the bags. Nice and loose, you can see. Um, no static, they're not sticking to the bag. You can see they move easily. No uh, oil or anything inside, making them clump together so they look nice and clean. Just um, checking the sort of general quality. I can see little dimples in the base. Um, I spoke about this before. I prefer it when they don't have the dimple because I always think that a flat base means that more surface of the drill sticks to the glue, which gives a better adhesion. Um, so these ones have got a little dimple in them. I always consider these the sort of uh, cheaper ones. Um, but after saying that, I've never had a kit that I've used these drills and they've fallen off, so they still stick. Um, it's, it's just it's something I always look at and think, oh, these have got the, the little dimple. But um, it shouldn't make any difference really in the real world. It's just um, it's nice to see the ones that are perfectly flat in the base. I mean, some of the drills are totally flat, but I can see quite a lot have got that little dimple in them. But they look absolutely fine, um, you can see, nice and loose, no problems. So, nothing wrong with these at all. You can see a lot of uh, the same colour. So this is obviously the background. So, you put these to the side. Look absolutely fine. Now we look at the actual picture. So. As I said, I totally forgot that I ordered this one. Um, it's just a, a random look on Amazon and I saw this. So we get Welcome to the... We've got a Highland Cow, which is appropriate for me, being from Scotland. So, Welcome to the Funny Farm. So, I saw this one. I have been putting up diamond paintings at work every month I put up a new one and I thought this would be a good one to put up in the canteen welcome to the funny farm um, and again it was just the Highland Cow the whole sort of just comic thing um, I quite like funny diamond paintings um, they aren't all uh, masterpieces uh, of art Sometimes I just go for the quirky stuff, and this definitely is one of them. But I think it looks really cool, um, even without the drills. Again, ordering from Amazon, you're expecting them to be budget kits. You're never sure what you're going to get, and that's why I, I do these unbox well, unbaggings. 
Just to give people an idea of what to expect if they order that kit. Um, this one actually looks fine. The canvas, as I said, it wasn't in a box or anything. It wasn't rolled. Um, it was sort of semi-folded, which means we get creases. Well, not creases, waves in the back, so you can see. So the first thing we have to do before we start the diamond painting is flatten the canvas. It is pretty easy to do. All we need to do is lay it on a hard surface and put some heavy books on top. Leave it for a few days and it'll be nice and flat. Um, alternatively, some people put the canvases under the mattress. Again, leave it for a few days and it should be flat. If you don't, you can see what it just wants to go back. Um, if I just let it go, I'm not doing anything. It's, it's wanting to go back into the shape it was when it was uh, in the package. So we need to get rid of that because if you just open it up and work on the diamond painting, you're going to get these creases in the canvas, which means the drills will sit at different angles instead of sitting flat and they will be visible. When you walk past, you will start to see these lines and it will be very irritating. So for the sake of a few days, um, definitely worth flattening it before you start. Um, the canvas is basic, very scratchy, starchy, um, what I would expect from a budget kit. But the actual picture, I think anyway, looks pretty cool. Um, not that big, it's only 30 centimetres high, but because there isn't a lot of detail in it, it works very well. Um, I think it, just looking at it as it is, it looks fine. It will look better once the drills are on, it'll have that sparkle that we get from the diamond paintings. And I think uh, the people in Canteen will like this one. So that's it. Uh, surprise package number one. Oh, I really wasn't expecting a diamond painting. But um, welcome to the funny farm from Amazon. So that was Welcome to the Funny Farm from uh, Amazon. Uh, I forgot to mention the uh, canvas has poured glue, so um, you don't have to worry about air bubbles or creases or anything. So um, poured glue is what you want. It's always nice and flat, and uh, it didn't always used to be the case, but most diamond paintings now um, have poured glue. So that is really nice. Um, the print quality is very good. Um, the symbols are very bold, easy to read. Um, absolutely no problem reading this at all. Um, I think for a budget kit, it's actually definite, well, not actually, it's definitely uh, one of the better ones. Um, the straightener was a little bonus that I really wasn't expecting. So if you're new to diamond painting and you're still trying to get used to getting the drills straightened, um, the straightener on the end of the pen will, will definitely come in handy um, and you can sort of just tidy them up as you go. Don't wait until the end and then try and push them. Um, it, it's very, very hard to get them because all the drills are all sort of touching each other. Um, it's really hard to tidy things up. So. If you do use the multiplacer, use it as you go. Um, if you start to notice some drills are maybe sticking out a little bit, just straighten them up before you put the, the ones next to them in. Um, it works better that way. So um, yeah, everything was fine. The, the bags are a decent size, so you can cut them, fold them over and tape them as you work your way through your diamond painting. Um, most people work in sections. Um, you wouldn't take the cover off the whole thing and then try and find all of the same symbol and then like work from number one to number 24 in order type thing. Most people work in small sections at a time um, and that means that you have to use some drills in the area that you're working on, pour them back, take another colour, use them, pour them back, move to a new section and you'll find that you're using the same colours again. So you, you sort of go back and forward um, through the colours as you work it. Um, <clears throat> so don't open up too much area either. Um, the more glue that is exposed, the more chance that something is going to land on it, whether it's pet hairs, um, dust, paper, 
tissues, candy wrappers, kids' homework, whatever. Um, the smaller the area, the less chance that something is accidentally going to get stuck on the glue. Um, so it, it's better to work in small sections at the time. So that is it. Um, nothing wrong with it as far as being a budget kit. Definitely one of the better ones. And um, I'm sure uh, the people in the canteen will appreciate this one. So that is it for today. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons and surprises for me, um, I still have three to open. As I said, I really didn't think I had a diamond painting in those, uh, so that was definitely a surprise. I totally forgot that I had ordered this one. Um, I'm sure the other three are accessories. That Things that I thought about and then I went on Amazon to see what I could find and ordered them to try them. So if you want to uh, find out what the other three mystery packages are, um, please subscribe and hit the notification button. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.